Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Brick, and we're members of the girls' varsity volleyball team here at Incline High School. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about the season, and we're here today with Emily Manship. Emily? Hello. <laughs> How does the season feel different compared to other seasons? I think this season, our team, other than being athletes and being in the same sport, we're all friends, and we've been playing together for a long time, so we know how we play with each other, and it's a good dynamic on and off the court. Can you just give us a little bit of insight on what you think your ideal ending to the season would be? My ideal ending would be going to state and going to Las Vegas with our team and ideally winning the games at state and finishing our season with a win. <laughs> um, so how do you feel like your relationships on and off the court affect the success of the season? I think it's so important to be clicking as a team and all of us have been playing together for three or four years and we kind of have come to like an understanding of how we play together and when to not take things personally or like how to talk to a certain person so that. Now Emily's going back to serve. High pressure moment. What were you thinking when you went back to serve? Um, well, sometimes I think like, oh, I should try to like get an ace on this point or like really like hit this ball hard. But then I'm like, usually when I think about that, I hit it into the net or long. So on this point, I was like, you just need to get the ball in the court. And then I was like, I've hit, done this so many times before. Like, I know physically like I can do this. It's just like, I was just talking to myself. And um. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about, so our middle, Eileen Tippins. Yeah. Tell us a little the, bit about how she is on show. the Tippins show. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about how she is on the court and the role that she plays on this team. So she's just a very determined player all around. Um, I think that her energy is just unmatched on the court. And um, she not only has the determination to win, but she also has like, the means to. Like If she wants to put the ball down, then she will put the ball down. But I think that her um, perseverance and just not getting down on herself and she's very confident and not in an arrogant way, but she knows that she can um, do what needs to be done and she'll just do it. Yeah. And other teams get super scared of her when she gets to the front <laughs> row. They're like yeah. shaking yeah. in their boots for real. Yeah, for sure. And so. she's just a driving force um, in our offense for sure so. oh yeah definitely um so let's talk a little bit about senior captain emma midgley Ooh. she's been just a really like steady person for me and she's had a lot going on this season and she's just never given up and in her position i would have probably just quit the team and done something more valuable so, with yeah. my time her perseverance to throughout all the challenges that she's had this season i think are yeah just speak volumes to her character on the team yeah. and the way she leads us as a and squad I think that she's in a great position now. All right, so let's talk a little bit about your role as a senior on the team and how you feel um, you've impacted the season and as a senior captain too. And also as captains on the team, I feel like everyone, it's not really like a big separation between captain and no. player. Everyone's kind of like on the same role and everyone's kind of agreeing at the same time mm -hmm. so yeah. there's not a big it's no. more of just like directing i, I think some of the just practices like focus yeah, yeah. just you know just having focusing. a little bit more structure is kind of being more mindful the role yeah. you play mm -hmm. um so let's talk about our four-year senior brooke Gathiel. she actually started on varsity as a freshman and um so she had a little bit more of like knowledge of like varsity um just like experience i guess about the whole thing and she's been a leader in that sense she has that experience to where she just knows when we can pull it back or like what when we need to take a step back and just like settle down for a second and yeah. i think it's really good and so she actually just got out for an injury and so we have we've had to make some adjustments for that <laughs> <laughs> um so I know that we have a pretty big senior roster on this squad. Do you think that, you know, everyone plays their own significant role? Well, almost just you feel like, you know, everyone has their own place on the team and their oh, own yeah. role and that everyone knows what their role is. Yes, I think we do have that. I think that comes from like, as I've said before, like playing together for so long, we kind of just like have settled into our positions and we know like 
when our teammate like needs a little like push or like when they need just like a moment of like settling in or like some positive words. I think a really key point on this team is that we're really impressionable and we mm-hmm. always are like up to try new things and change because we've had a lot of difficulty this season with injuries. Everyone's done super well of just adjusting and like some games we were missing some players and everyone's just stepped in like seamlessly it seems and it's just great to see that we all can um, just adjust and not make a problem about it and just try to do what's best for the team always. So I think that makes the season and just like our success in the season so much like stronger and better for us. More valuable for sure. And I think that that just really shows that we've been brought together by this experience as a whole and that our friendships are making us stronger as a team on the court. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about Stephanie. She's uh, another senior. She's our DS defensive specialist. Player. Um, She is just super energetic and lively, and it's just, it's great to see her play. And um, she's she's always always willing to sacrifice her ball. We can count on her to throw herself at the ball. (laughs) 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 Um, I think that she. You, you know, she's always willing to put in, you know, whatever is needed. And so yeah. I think we can always count on her to do that. Yeah, she's she not a, a lot for attitude. weddings, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These weddings really be getting out of this season. Yeah. <laughs> the wedding season so, in yeah. family. Exactly. So let's also talk about Kylie Rayberger. She's an outside hitter, starter outside hitter for mm-hmm. this team. And she's probably one of the most experienced on the floor. I mean, like, it's probably the most significant in her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so sure. she definitely, like, loves to take on that role of helping you know other players and improving because she does have a lot of outside experience not only in Mm -hmm. the high school seasons no for sure um so let's talk a little bit about Lizbeth she's been a really focused player throughout practice she's also that one player who like will always just smile at you and she's just like friendly like that and she's been working really hard throughout practice to just try to step into that role and um just putting in her best throughout the season and I think it's really good for her to she's definitely like mood setter on the teams um now let's we'll talk a little bit about isabel Isabel's also a senior she plays a lot of positions so he's kind of anywhere where she's needed which is yeah. really cool this is her first season on varsity she's just that person that'll just kind of take on whatever you know we need her to do and whatever challenge you know we're having issues in one area she's just down to yeah. you know work and you know put in that spot and you know be yeah. really like um adaptable for our team yeah. so yeah. she's kind of that all around like okay we can put her pretty much anywhere she's and also she always, that off the court like, yeah, yeah she knows about those like administrative details and you you don't even have to ask her to do something she'll just have it done and then we can always just ask her and like the bus stuff. seating chart yeah, yeah. stuff yeah. like that and she does it and yeah. it's honestly helpful she's like oh, it's good. a great like manager slash player yeah too. it's yeah. great so now we won the game uh, the last hit was out and you could just see everyone going crazy. <laughs> Our coach is just jumping like crazy. Yeah. Everyone's hands are flying up. Everyone's high fiving. Yeah. You can kind of see like how people are hugging. You can just yeah. see that the unrest on the court finally came to an end that we won. Yeah, that's a great way to describe it. Yeah, yeah for sure. And we're playing them in regionals, so that's going to be an intense That is game. our qualifying game for state. So if we win, yeah. we get to go to state. And if we lose, our season is over. So yeah. very exciting.